Yeah. It's tour time! We're going on a tour! <laughs> Hi guys, um, it is an evening here at Kalani and it's beautiful weather. All my friends just got off of work so we're just kind of hanging out and we decided that it's the perfect night to give you guys a tour of Kalani. I have my two lovely travel assistants with me. Hello. <laughs> so right now we're up at the top of campus. <laughs> this right here is the Lanai and this is actually where we eat. Um, when I did the kitchen video, we were inside there. And then there's the lower lanai, which is where um, the volunteers mostly sit. So we have guests and volunteers. And the kitchen's inside there. Oh, and look at how cute it is right now because it's almost Halloween. So we have all the little pumpkins. Every night before dinner or lunch or breakfast or anything, they post the menu right there. Tonight we're having split pea soup, my dad's favorite. Do you want to be the tea facilitator? Oh, okay, come to see my herbal tea Ooh. collection here. <laughs> okay, so we have Earl Grey to Wild Sweet Orange, Ooh. and then green tea, green tea pomegranate. So this is a wide variety. And this yeah. is my favorite part, yeah. the milk selection. Um, usually they have chocolate almond milk, which is my favorite, but they don't have it right now because it's so delicious that everyone drink it. And this, Lindsay put together, or maybe Ryan, but we'll give Lindsay credit. Okay, so on to the campgrounds. So we're walking over to the campgrounds right now. There's a little path here. Oh, we can see some aloe vera on the way. Ooh, Kim, you're such an herbologist. <laughs> <laughs> This is the smoker's tent. You're not allowed to smoke anywhere on property. Oh, this is Hi. the smoker's tent. Yeah, unless oh. you're in the smoker's tent. I was like, where is the smoker's tent? Like, I never See, did. you're learning from this yeah. tour. I am such a good tour guide. I know, maybe I should. So inside these leaves is the aloe vera. Fresh aloe vera. Oh my gosh, it's like a gel. Your, yeah, you can rub it on your sunburns or you can eat it. Can you eat it right now? No. Why? It's really medicinal. I'll lick it. It's like, lick it. No, yeah. it's not good. Why? It's not good. Let me taste it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just see. Oh, it's dripping. Yeah. I don't think it's going to taste the way you think Ooh, it is. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh my god, god. I thought it was sweet. It's no. not. It's, it's still I going. I told you it was. Oh, can I have that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I want to stop. <laughs> Don't ever, ever eat aloe vera. Here is our little path into the campground. These trees are called walking trees because their um, roots kind of like keep growing out and out and out. And so they may, depending on where the roots grow, end up in a different spot than where they started growing. Hence, they're walking. This is called a Lauhala, and when the pieces fall off, you can see there's some um, dry ones down there, you can collect them and stain them and weave them into bracelets or floor mats. Um, so actually, I wove these bracelets right here out of that kind of leaf. I didn't collect it and forest it, but <laughs> oh my god, that aloe vera really just is so bad I can't. Okay, so now we're getting into the campground. This is my neighbor, Jared. Say hi, Jared. Hi, Jared. Hey. And this is his tent. He like literally moved in one night under the cover of darkness. Oh my god, look at that cat. You have a cat too? Yeah, you don't know, that's Joseph's cat. Oh, hey. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. We have so many cats around here. I'm gonna show you guys a lot more. I'll give you guys a little bit more of a tour. This one is like the mansion on the block. It's so beautiful. He's got a little garden out here. And then mine, which you guys have seen before in previous vlogs, is this one. <clears throat> and I'm actually not going to be 
living here for too much longer because the girl whose tent I'm borrowing, her name is Melanie. I'm so excited to meet her. She's coming back to Kalani um, in a couple of days. So I'm actually going to be moving to an indoor room, which is kind of cool, but I'm going to miss living in a tent. It's been really fun. And this mat here is another Lahala uh, mat. You can see it's kind of woven and it's made from the same stuff as I made these bracelets from. You'll see these all over the place. People prefer to bring Lahala mats to the beach because the sand doesn't stick to them, like it sticks to the towels. Um, so you'll see a lot of people at the beach using those. So this is the Noni. This is, um, it has a lot of medicinal purposes. So pretty much for anything, the Hawaiian people think that you can, not think, they know you can use it for um, anything that's infected, sprained ankle, they wrap the leaves around. Um, pretty sure they eat it as well. I've heard it's the most disgusting tasting thing on the whole island. Yeah, but like if you have a scratch or a wound, they would put the noni, like pound that up and then put it in a cheesecloth, squeeze it out and put that on the wound, like directly on the wound and then wrap it up. And Jonathan actually like had a really deep cut that needed stitches and he said he used the noni. Um, and it healed. Without stitches? Without stitches. Jonathan is the hula teacher who you guys saw in a previous video when we were at Uncle Robert's and he was doing the hula dance for everybody. He is like, amazing. like, amazing. So amazing and he was born in Hawaii. He knows everything about the culture and the language and everything like that. So if he says Noni leaves work, I believe it. These are my neighbors, the cutest couple in the whole world. You guys are what I aspire to be. <laughs> they are taking a year off of their whole life to just travel the world together. And their first stop is Kalani. Yes, and that's then? true. And then Japan. Yeah, we booked a flight to Japan and then a flight to Thailand. We'll be there by Christmas time. Oh, I'm so jealous. And then beyond. Southeast Asia, Sri Lanka, Turkey, and Europe. Oh my god. Maybe Australia. Right, to visit Kim! <laughs> Live in the dream. And New York City before we go back to Canada. You can visit me in New York City. City. Love to. Yay! Awesome. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. Look at this little guy <laughs> hanging out with you. Us. No problem. Hi. Okay, on with the tour. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Okay, so what we were just in up there is called Uptown, and then this down here is called Downtown. Um, and then the third section is called Trent Lane. So there's kind of three areas where you can camp. But Uptown is a little bit more busy, a little bit louder. Downtown is a little bit more quiet. Some of the guests stay there. And then Trent Lane is really nice because it's very shaded. So it's kind of like a cool place to live and kind of relax. So the reason that this is called Trent Lane is because a gentleman by the name of Trent lives in this little B-frame and it's basically at the end of Trent Lane so they call it Trent Lane. I don't really know what it was called before Trent got here but that's what it is. And he has got quite the setup back there. And you can see we're pretty far into the jungle right now and at the end of this is something really cool. This was actually shown to me on my first day. Like the second I got here, basically people were hanging out right at the spot that I'm about to show you. And so this was kind of the first thing I saw when I came to Kalani. Dun, 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 dun. It's called a monkey pod tree. And a monkey pod tree, I don't really know why it's called that. I can't really remember. But basically the cool thing about it is that it grows so fast that basically it doesn't even take time for the roots to dig into the, um, the soil. And also because we're on lava rock and it's really hard to kind of break through, the roots can't even go that deep into the soil. So this tree kind of grew its roots over the top of the land and they just keep going and going. So now we're just walking out of Trent Lane. We basically just turned around and walked out the same exact way that I showed you we walked in. And if you come straight out, this is where you get to the campground bathroom. And this is where anyone who lives in the campground showers and brushes their teeth. And we have all of our pets here. Hi! And that one's Oreo. So the deal with poor Oreo, it's really sad. He has like a liver um, issue going on right now. So he's on medication and we're hoping that he gets better. Hi, little one. 
Aww. But yeah, he's been sick for a little while, so we're hoping he gets better soon.